Hey guys, how's it going? Guys, I apologize. I haven't made uh, a video in a while. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, like I said, I apologize, guys, that I haven't been able to make videos. This has been an extremely, extremely, extremely busy summer. And those of you who follow me know what I do and what I am up to through the summer and understand why I can't make the videos, which I extremely like doing for you. Um, it's kicking. It's, what, the 15th, 16th of August, and things are still busy. We've been busy with engines all summer long. This has been the year of crack blocks, people not winterizing their boats correctly. Um... There's a there's a 350, there's a 4.3, there's a 5.9 Cummins, there's a 454 that we're just in the midst of redoing now. There's another 454 coming out of a boat, customer's boat, not winterized properly. Um, well, I wouldn't say it was winterized properly. That was fine. The biggest problem with it, it's got some valve issues. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to have the heads redone on that one. Um, working on that, I just got done rebuilding the uh, Owen and Annette. And those suckers ever getting expensive to uh, get parts for. You gotta buy everything now through Cummins Onan. And uh, that is not cheap to rebuild. But you can't beat them. They're a fantastic motor. They just they just go and go and go. The biggest thing with an Onan guys is, like I said before, is its oil changes. 25 hours, change that oil. It takes no more than 10 minutes, change the oil. We got parts bins here, we got heads, we got shit everywhere. But like I said, we've been we've been putting in all those 350s that I had last year that I had stocked up. All of them. They're all gone. I have nothing left. I gotta go start buying again and getting some engines back in. Um, yeah, just been extremely busy. We just got done putting an engine in this big old girl. But we upgraded that engine a little bit. We took the uh, 205 out, 4.3 that was in it, and we upgraded it to a new uh, Vortec marine engine. Uh, this is a new uh, 5.7. EFI, throttle body injected, crack block. Took it apart, figuring uh, we could use the parts that were in it. No, it sat too long. Guy dragged his feet, was gonna bring it to me in the spring when it when it happened, it sat and it sat and it sat and it sat. Uh, oh, it's a roller engine. So all the roller lifters were rusted all the shit absolutely junk so this one she's gonna learn a lesson because this one's not going to be a cheap repair not only that we found other issues too do <clears throat> excuse me water pump that's completely done for so all I got to do tomorrow is put the electrical on it and this vortex is ready for the water again but, uh, yeah, so that's what's been going on, guys. Um, all kinds of stuff. I gotta run those out to the machine shop tomorrow. That's what happened to that 454 back there. Guy brings it to me in a parts box. I said, did you mark and number the caps? Or did you? No. So now I gotta take them all in and have them all resized because he doesn't remember what caps go with what piston and rod. Wonderful. And the crank needs to be done too. It just needs to be polished. But other than that, it's going to be not too bad of a fix. Anyways, guys, I appreciate all the new subscribers. And hello. Um, this is kind of what we do here in the summertime. And like I said, in the summertime, guys, I just do not have time to make videos. Um, it's been uh, not too bad of a year. It's been a really good year, actually. No complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you again. Cheers.